What is going on everybody? My name is Matt and I want to welcome you guys back to my channel. Tonight I'm actually going to be playing some Liberal Crime Squad and this is a game that I know you guys have been requesting quite a bit on my channel. I haven't played it in a long time. I think the last series or adventure or however, whatever you want to call it, I think we went to about episode 9. I think everybody ended up dying. So I'm just going to try it again. Um, one of the things that prompted me to do it, besides your request, the 4.07 update, I believe it just came in March or April of 2013. Now, of course, this game was designed by Tarn Adams, the same guy that brought us um, Dwarf Fortress, you know, the Bay 12 productions and everything. Well, this is was originally designed by him, but it's, up, it's uh, kept up by the community, in particular Jonathan Fox, and they kind of just keep developing this game and... I don't know, seeing what they could do to it, do to it, see what they can add. They keep adding features, weapons, and stuff like that. So, without fur further ado, let's go ahead and jump into this game. I think, well, I, before we get to that, let's see, what do we want to do? We want to do, maybe not, yeah, we'll do classic mode. We'll keep the game nice and simple. We don't want marathon or extended or anything like that. Prevent liberals from passing. Terminal is, nah, that's fine. Classic mode is fine, and... We, I don't want to do no uh, no uh, compromise. Let's just, just do Democrat. Let's play the, the standard game. And let's make our character a male. And let's see what kind of fun name we can find. I'll just hit A and B really fast and we'll stop. Eduardo Cutlass. Okay, that's fun. How about for this? I'll hit D a bunch. I'm not looking at the screen. My eyes are closed. Oh, Tampa, Florida. Perfect. Nice and close to me. I'm here in Orlando. Now, I do think that I'm going to let the game choose my my background. I think it's, sometimes it's more fun to let the game gen, um, randomly generate your character's attributes just because it keeps the, the, the rest of the game more random. You can't really decide where your points come in. So it, it, it requires a, a different type of play every time. A little bit, of course, the general game, you can kind of do some of the same things and get the same results, but we'll let the game go ahead and generate our history. And I'll just read out the options and I hit the wrong button, didn't I? Alright, fine. Well, you know what? I'm just going to hit some random buttons then, because that's kind of what the game would do. So, I'm not going to read through any of these answers. Let's just do B. Uh, D, A, C, E, D, A, C, B, B. I don't know. That was That's not how I wanted to do that, but I wanted to just kind of do it randomly, so I, I don't remember what the questions are off the top of my head. So, that's uh, what our character is going to be. So, a new conservative era. The year is 2009. Conservative President Chris Blum ends his second term with approval ratings in the high 70s and is succeeded by hardcore arch-conservative Ron McQueen. With conservatives sweeping into power in the House of Representatives and Senate and the conservative majority in the Supreme Court of the United States, commentators are hailing it as the beginning of a new conservative era. President Ron McQueen has asked the new Congress to move quickly to rubber stamp his radical arch-conservative agenda. The left seems powerless to stop. This eminent trampling, oh my god, trampling of liberty, sanity, and justice. In this dark time, the liberal crime squad is born. Okay, so that's kind of the same generic message that they give you every time around. And I'm not going to give myself a nickname, so we are just going to go by Eduardo Cutlass. And it looks like the choices that we, that we went with for starting our character actually gave us some followers to start with and some weapons. Everybody's actually... Equipped with a weapon, including Eduardo, has got an AK-47. So that's quite interesting. Let's see, actually, before we even get, get into playing, let's see what kind of skills we have here. Eduardo Cutlass, our main character, 9 heart, 4 intelligent, 1 wisdom. That's fine, we'll, we'll bump up the uh, juice a little bit. And he, he has 4 recruits. Is that true? I thought he had like 5. Anyway, he's got his, some of his, his top skills here are swords, pistols, rifles. He's got weapon skills, business, persuasion, psychology. All right, well, we're going to kind of work with those anyway. What do we have for number two? James Fairbanks, who has also got very high skills in all types of fighting, pistol, rifle, shotgun, dodge, and knife. Oh, and throwing. Okay. So he might be our fighter. Very, uh, he's, his juice is in the negative and his wisdom is actually kind of high, but we'll see if we can't work with that anyway. Who do we have on three? Zachary Shu. Eight heart and two wisdom. All right. Very high religion. Rifle. All right. Well, I don't know if we could really get rid of these guys. I'm going to see what I can. I'm going to see if I could work with them. 
Ooh, Street Sense and Shotgun for Leslie Ramirez. Oh, it's male Leslie. Okay, Leslie. And we'll have to see. Yeah, we're just going to we're going to have to try to work with all these guys. Um oh, and we do have a fifth, Raphael Campbell. Art, science, martial arts. It's got some tailoring in there. You know, I like to you know, I like to make some of my money making suits and stuff like that. So, let's see. That was everybody, right? Yeah, it's just those guys. Well, do I want to break them up into separate squads yet? Probably not. Actually, yes. No. Let's get rid. Let's take Eduardo Cutlass out of the squad because everyone else was in negative uh, standing. So let's go ahead and make a new squad just for Eduardo, and we'll call it uh, I don't know leader. So Eduardo is in the leader squad, and then the liberal crime squad itself is uh, the rest of everybody, the rest of the group because everybody else has negative juice, and we'll try to get that up without getting Eduardo into too much trouble. So, let's go ahead and set some stuff up here. Let's send let's send everybody out. So, the Liberal Crimes Crime Squad themselves, they are going to I kind of want them all to have like uh what's the word? Spray paint cans. But we only have $7. Let's send them to uh some apartments. Let's go to the University District and we'll go to the Deer Apartments. And while we're at it, what do I do? Tab? Yeah, there we go. Tab. And we're going to send Eduardo also out, but he is going to go, I don't know, the Internet Cafe? Let's try that. Let's see, because he can he can recruit some more people. Um, he can have two more under him. Oh, we also need to raise his juice, but we could do that separately. So I'll go ahead and wait a day, and we'll see what happens. So first we are here with the Liberal Crime Squad. And I'm hitting the wrong buttons. There we go. I was trying to use the numpad to move around, and I guess I thought you could, but... All right, anyway. So we'll go ahead and walk around these apartments. We'll see if we can't break into a couple of the rooms. That's the, the leasing office. I don't see anything immediately in any of these rooms. I don't want to venture too far. Nope, nothing there. And of course, we don't want to try to be breaking into any rooms while anybody is near us. Now, if you guys are new to Liberal Crime Squad or to my channel or both, I'll put a link down in the description that will bring you to my, my original playthrough of this game. The first three episodes of which actually acted as quite... quite, quite ah, crap, we got caught. The first three episodes kind of acted as a tutorial. So if you want to check that out, if you don't know about this game or about me, you go ahead and check that out. But in the meantime, we need to run out of here because the conservatives are alarmed. And I don't want to be hitting too many buttons too fast because I don't want to get caught up in a fight and have them get any hits on me. All right, we made it out alive. And our leader, where that squad it's calling leader, has just arrived at the Micro Pixie Internet Cafe. And our purpose here was to try to get some recruits. So we actually do want to talk to this. I see two liberals. We have a lawyer and an engineer. The lawyer could definitely be interesting to have. So Eduardo Cutlass asked, do you want to hear something disturbing? And the lawyer has absolutely no interest. And the college student raises the alarm. Okay, because we were talking to somebody. So we need to actually, I guess, V for sneak away. And it's not letting us. And the college student's actually going to sit here and fight us. And I think I shot him. No, I guess not. All right. So that was, that didn't really work. Let's forget about the Internet Cafe for a second. Let's send Eduardo back to the juice bar. We're going to leave the Liberal Crime Squad at home for now. And let's just see if we can find any recruits. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so you know what the problem is. It's that gun. That is the problem. So we're going to have to, uh, we're gonna have to take this gun out of his hand. So, that's fine. It'll just stay in our general uh, inventory for now. And at the same time, we should probably do that with the other squad as well. So we'll just take everything out of their hands. And maybe... Ah, see, we, only, we still only have $7. I really, really want them to... Uh, so here we are back, sorry, at the apartments. I really want these guys to raise their juice. But nothing is really going to happen. Spray paint cans could work, but... And you see, of course, as soon as we go into those room, 
it's, it doesn't even matter that we're wearing liberal clothing or any kind of clothing, conservative clothing, I guess, but we're in somebody else's room, so we get in trouble. All right, this is kind of not not completely a waste, but it'll go much quicker if we have if we have uh, what's the word spray paint cans. Therefore, I see. I don't think we could even afford spray paint cans right now. I don't know how much they cost. Buy tools. Yeah, look at that. They they charge you twenty dollars for a damn spray paint can. That is stupid. All right. Eduardo, I could have them like start beating people up, but I really don't want to do that. Uh, Eduardo, you are going to go ahead to the downtown apartment, see if we can't find some nice expensive uh, loot in some of these apartments. If we can't break into them, probably won't be able to. Let's actually hit this button. We'll be able to keep an eye on hit any skills that he's building, but I'm not going to get my hopes up on that. And there's no alarm yet, so we're going to go ahead and keep going up a couple floors here. And we are absolutely failing at picking each and every lock on the way up. Wow, okay. We're going to keep heading up, though. We'll see if we can't get into one of these rooms. Let's just break a door. And of course, somebody shows up just as I break the door down. I don't see anything in there. We'll go ahead and kick this door. And the conservatives are suspicious. Let's head out of this apartment building. All right. The security guard looks at the squad with intolerance and lets forth a piercing conservative alarm cry. Oh, but they left me alone, so I might be able to make it out. Yes, I did. I just made it. So, we really need to... Uh, I guess we could just have them, I could put the guns back on, we could just have them start fighting people. Because that is a good, I mean, it's a way to build up, uh, to build up juice, I just didn't want to do it. Alright, well, let's go ahead and, uh, uh, one and two, we'll get a revolver, and what's the other gun we have? Semi-auto, we'll go to three and four, where'd it go? D? No. Where'd the semi-auto just go? 38 speed loader will go to four, I guess. Okay. Can't carry... Oh, I thought that was the gun. Speed loader. Combat knife. What? I thought there was another gun. I didn't want to give him... I, I'll give four the knife. There we go. That'll work. And let's send these guys... This is going to be crazy. Let's send them to the, the Milky Wonder Latte Stand. And we're not going to do anything with the leader right now. And these guys... Uh, Oh, they're still allowed to carry guns outside. We don't want to shoot that teacher because he had there was a liberal near him. This one we can. There's a construction worker, a teacher, and a nurse. The construction worker does have potential to give us some problems. So I don't know if I want to just fight one. We kind of want to find one conservative by himself. I'm just going to kind of stay on the perimeter, and I just screwed that up. No, that had too many neutrals around them. Nope, that had a liberal... A doctor would be great. I don't want to scare anybody that I don't have to. That's the problem. That's why I'm skipping over some of these. It's a very small little latte stand. I don't have too much room to walk around. I think everyone's just kind of trying to avoid my squad. That's what it is. Here we go. Oh, there's two. But they're both... Let's fight. Corporate, corporate manager and a lawyer. I can't imagine either of them having very many or very much weaponry on them. So I'm going to go ahead and fight. So we see that Jer James Fairbanks shoots the lawyer with his revolver. And it hits the right arm. Zachary sh shoots the lawyer and hits the body. The lawyer sweats profusely, murmurs something about Jesus, and dies. And then, of course, Leslie Ramirez still has to shoot and hits th the corporate manager's right leg. And Raphael is able to stab the corporate manager in the left arm. But that, ju that just sent him away. He went away running. So let's go ahead and pick up the loot if we can't. I guess. I don't know if we did or not. I don't think it let me. So what kind? What did that do for us? That at least got us out of the negatives. Oh, and it kind of brought everybody at different levels? I don't know. I think it might have. All right, well... 
That's fine. Let's. You know what? We're gonna do that again. Obviously, not at the Milky Latte stand because that is now closed down. But we might be able to get away with it at maybe the park. We don't want to mess with the Army veteran or any other neutrals for that matter. Retiree and a secretary. That'd probably be a really easy fight there. No police officer. You know he's packing heat. Definitely packing heat. Mail carrier. Maybe. You never know. He might have something on him. But let's go ahead and fight anyway. So we get a whole bunch of shooting. Blasted the right kidney. And the mail carrier is dead. We need to get out of here before anything else happens. The Liberal Crime Squad has struck again. The events took place in the Tucker Park. Further details are sketchy, but the police sources suggest that the LCS engaged in murder and violence. All right. So, what did that leave us with? That actually brought the... It brought everybody's juice up quite a bit. And I guess Zachary Shu just had, a, had an interesting lead over everybody else that I didn't realize. We're going to have to be careful, though. Oh, his wisdom did go down. Oh, no, this was the high wisdom. Everybody's... I mean, they're, they're all building their... Uh, let me see. They're all building, like, weapon skills and stuff as well. I actually want to put... Zachary Shu. now that he's got a little bit more going on here... I mean, we should we should try to get him over 50, but... I'm going to actually separate him. I'm going to put him into a squad with Eduardo because he, uh, Zachary actually has some high security skill, which will allow us to break into those apartments, whereas the security skill for Eduardo is still very low. He's only at one. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to go ahead back and manage these these squads here. And we're going to take, who did I say that was? Zachary Shu. He's going to come out, and we're going to put him into the leader squad. And now, well, we're going to head back to those main apartments, the Murray apartments in the downtown, because that's where the rich people live, and that's where the, the good loot's going to be, if there is any. And it looks like Zachary's failing at every lock as well. I was really expecting more from Zachary. Not that he had a, an extremely high... Let's see if we could see it right here. I mean, it's three. It's not an extremely high security level, but... It should have been enough. And I actually ran into somebody in that room, but they didn't call the cops on me, surprisingly enough. Oh, we got loot right inside the door. Why is it not letting me pick up... Crap. I'm gonna have to kill the lawyer. Oh, and Zachary actually had a gun. I thought he was the one with the, with the knife. Well, while we're in here, we might as well just pick everything else up because you know we're going to have trouble trying to get out of this building. Socialite and actor, we're going to have to fight them as well, and you know the teenager is going to run off crying. So let's go ahead and fight. Eduardo's just stuck to just punching. Zachary can shoot. And the actor is uh, dead, and the teenager ran away. The socialite is actually trying to fight back, even though he's facing a gun here. And the socialite is dead. And we need to make our way out to the street. We, this this actually might end in a chase. You never know. Nope. We made it out. The Liberal Crime Squad struck again. Uh, further details are sketchy. There was murder, violence, theft, and unlawful entry. And of course, they shouted, we need a slogan as they left. Because as the screen is telling you, we need a slogan. So let's see what we actually got out of that. If I hit equipment, we got some fine jewelry, two cell phones... A damaged expensive suit. I don't think we can sell that. All right, well, let's sell what we just got. Oh, we, we got some money anyway, and I'm not sure what that was for. Maybe for killing? But we can go ahead and send these guys down to the pawn shop, and we should be able to sell. Let's see, we have two cell phones, fine jewelry. Yeah, it won't let me sell the expensive suit or the damaged clothing. But that's actually going to get us $540 just for two cell phones and jewelry. So that's some really nice jewelry right there. So I'm going to head and hit enter for done. Now we definitely have enough money for those spray paint cans. Although I don't know how useful they will be anymore. But let's go ahead and... Where am I? Purchase. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. And let's actually get one, two, three, four spray paint cans. 
and then we'll leave there. And we're going to actually take that out of Eduardo's hand. He does not need a spray paint can. And we'll switch over to the other squad. We'll take the guns out of their hands because they still have low juice. I don't remember how high spray paint can get. It's either 10 or 50. Uh, I know it's quite low, but 50 might work. So we're going to go ahead and equip all these guys with spray paint. One, two, whoops, I, they're switching numbers on me here. Spray paint now C, and now it is D. There we go. So all three of these guys have spray paint, and we're going to just send them to, like, I don't know, the crack house or something, which is where we are now, because I don't think you could even get in trouble for using uh, spray paint in the crack house. Now, what did that do? That brought us to 8. Very quickly, we'll hit 10, and then we're going to have to see what happens. There we go. All right, let's see now if it goes over 10. It does. Okay, so we could actually just use spray paint. This is, you know, kind of a grind here. But that's fine. We don't want to spray paint in front of anybody. And it looks like the conservatives are suspicious, so we're going to head out. The gang's caught us. Crap. Who stopped us? Are we really stopped because of the teenager? Is that what I'm seeing here? Alright, well, I should be able to change equipment, right? Nope. I thought I could. Prostitute makes a break for it. The teenager mistakenly punches the transient, who's not even on our side. That was just someone standing in the room. The prostitute runs, the transient runs, the crackhead runs, and it's three guys fighting. Oh, we're going to actually beat up the teenager with spray paint cans. That's... And he runs away screaming. A lot of good that did you standing up to us, you idiot. All right. So that should have gotten us. Yeah, that definitely got us some juice. Look at that. Everybody's up to tw in the 20s now. Art is up. We actually might be able to make some money with, with uh, Raphael Campbell. I believe you could sell artwork on the street. We're going to have to look into that. I don't remember. I haven't played this game in a long time, and I kind of just decided to jump back into it tonight without, I, I, without playing it at all, without any kind of setup. Uh, as you can see, you know, I screwed up the character generation and everything like that. So I really hadn't put too much thought into it. I was just sitting here. Um, I just turned off Call of Duty and I was playing. I don't even know what I was just playing. I was playing Grand Theft Auto. That's what it was. And I was like, oh, you know what? Let me let me do some Liberal Crime Squad for, for YouTube. So, I'm, you know, that wasn't my original plan tonight. Anyway, let's see here. So I could send them back out. What do I want to do here? This is what I need to look at. Eduardo, we need his juice up as well. And you know what? It really wouldn't hurt to give him spray paint as well. However, if I could, like, just beat people up with my fists as the leader, that would be awesome. And I feel like my juice would go up really quickly. But we don't need to do that, do we? Okay. Zachary has really high juice now. He's actually much higher than our actual uh, leader. And his security is slowly going up. What are his What are his other skills look like here? Um, nothing impressive, actually. He's got a very high top in music and art, but that's, uh, that's pretty much it. He, he doesn't actually have very high skills in either of those. The tailoring is on its way up there. And as you guys know, that is how I like to make my money early early in the game, at least. It's a good, just solid, uh, solid income before we start hacking and, and doing all that other kind of stuff. Music. Okay. We need to give, I, I guess we'll just give Eduardo, we'll go ahead and give him a spray paint can as well. And actually, we're going to take Zachary out of his squad again, just because I kind of want him building up his, uh, his skills by himself for a minute, because that just seems like the right thing to do. We could put Zachary's shoe back in with the other guys. And we should probably start separating them, only because, oh, we are in the crack house, right? That doesn't really, that doesn't really bring too much heat to it at all. So yeah, you know what, we'll just leave everybody at the crack house. But Eduardo, you can go ahead back out, and you are going to go 
Actually, you're just going to travel to the crack house and you're going to continue with the spray painting. For now, we'll just do a couple hallways. Make sure that we don't hit the spray paint button as we're running into anybody, as I've done on multiple occasions. Because that will definitely set up, set off some alarms and upset the... Uh, oh, they're suspicious already. All right, let's... You know what? Go downtown. Oh, the Murray apartments are under high security. There's another apartment place here, isn't there? I guess not. I thought there was. All right, let's go to the down... Let's go to the university apartments. And we'll just do some general spray paint down these hallways. Let's break down this first door. Oh, look at that. There's loot right inside the door. Silverware and damaged work clothes. But the conservatives are suspicious, so we are going to go ahead and leave. And it looks like the newspapers are actually reporting on our activities at the apartments, at the Deer apartments here. They're sketchy, but we engaged in theft, vandalism, and breaking and entering. And of course, you see that the Paris flea market has a sale of 50% off today. <laughs> Oh, goodness. Who cares? Who really cares? Um, I don't I don't like to fly a flag, really, until we're in our own sort of building or apartment, even. Just, I don't know, we're, we're camped out in a crack house right now. I really, there's I, I have, like, no pride in where we're living, so there's no point in buying a flag. He's almost at 50 juice, so let's go ahead and just do something like that again. And we just need a couple. Where's the Y? Come on, there you go, Matt. And I mean, I have no problem breaking these doors down physically or manually, whatever, however you want to say it. But of course, it's you kind of are better off when you pick it. There we go. All right, so we're at 50. We will not be able to raise our juice any higher with the spray paint. So 50 is where we're topping off, and that's fine. What did that bring us up to? We we have some new maximum things here. Um, nothing that I'm really too interested in at the moment. Of course, having these having possible high weapon skills is great. Persuasion's actually this. That's what we need to probably be working on because we'll be able to get some really good squad members from here on out. And, I mean, I guess this first episode here is kind of just turning into a, a grinding episode. Because I want to get everybody's juice up. And Zachary's almost to 50 as well. Let's send these guys out on, like, one last shooting spree. I believe they're all still equipped with weapons, right? No, they all... Oh, they still have spray paint. That's fine. Let's send you... You guys go to... I don't know where I want you to go. Not the crack house. Or the homeless shelter. You guys just go to the college apartments as well. Why not? Who's it going to hurt? Let's see. Let's try to break into somebody's room and then spray paint in the room. There we go. How pissed would you be if you came home and your front door was wide open and somebody had like spray painted all over the inside of your apartment? I know that would piss me off. We actually have a lot more spray painting to do, don't we? There was actually an encounter, but I didn't get in trouble. I'm hitting some of these buttons a little too fast. Uh-oh. All right, so the police officer has let off an alarm. He spotted us, even though I believe we're all... Oh, he let us get away, though, so let's run. And we were able to make it away. All right, so we, there was no chase. There was no pursuit from the police. We actually made it out of there. Let's see. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and get the rest of these guys to 50 juice. Oh, Zachary Shu has made it to 50. And, of course, he went over because of a fight, I'm assuming. Maybe. I don't know. I'm going to have to check it out. I'm going to go ahead and kind of grind the rest of this, get the rest of these guys up to at least 50 juice at the minimum. I'm going to do that off camera so I don't waste any more time. And we'll get back into the adventure in episode 2. I don't know what I'm going to call this yet. This is either Season 2 or Adventure 2 or uh, or I might even just call it Video Number 10, uh, continuing right off the last series. But anyway, I want to thank you guys for watching whatever this was. It was the beginning of a new adventure for us. And I'm going to go ahead and flip the screen. I want you guys to click on all this stuff. Leave a comment. Leave a like. Let me know what you think. 
and stay tuned for part two of this new series of Liberal Crime Squad. We are playing as, I'll show you right now, so that you can see his name and start associating something with our movement. Eduardo Cutlass, here he is. He is a socialist threat, a gang member, and he's wanted for murder. He was born on March 3rd, 1984, making him 24 years old. Now, this is the leader. This is what our movement is centered around. And generally, once we lose him, we uh, we lose the game. And of course you can't see this. What am I saying? As I already flipped the screen, you guys have no idea what I'm looking at. But I read it to you. Eduardo Cutlass. So that is who we're centering around. Please stay tuned for part two. I know you guys want to see this as badly as I want to see what happens. So until next time.